Hello, welcome, happy Thursday. Welcome to Ask Serena Live. It's the last show of the year. Oh my God. Hope you guys are having a great week. Hey, Joe. Jolie O is on. Oh my God. Joel is on. Hey, boo. Hi, Mike Hawk. Let me turn this around. Hey, what's up? Hello, care package. Thank you for joining. So this is like brighter. I feel like every week I kind of look back at these episodes and I look a little dark. And that's because I like my office like kind of dim, kind of low key, that kind of thing. So I may seem brighter tonight, maybe even effervescent. So... <laughs> Welcome. So for any of you that are brand new to Ask Serena Live, Ask Serena Live is my weekly show that I do every Thursday at 11 p.m. and I talk about everything from world of work to pop culture to parenthood. Last week was relationships, so I cover the whole gamut and this is like my little take on what would be my talk show if someone was to give me one. So that's what it is. We get together every Thursday. If you don't know anything about me, I am Janine Truitt. I am the Chief Innovations Officer for Talent Think Innovations LLC based in New York. And it is a talent management consulting firm soon to be rebranded. And I'll talk more about that in the new year um, to a business strategy firm because I feel like I am not properly giving due all of the work that I'm doing out here. So I will be rebranding probably first of the year um, to kind of broaden the scope of my services so that people really know what I'm doing out here, people. Like I'm doing a lot of stuff and I need you guys to know about it, right? That's like the whole purpose. So yes, um, talent management, I am a former HR practitioner and so I was responsible for everything from recruiting to performance management to succession planning, everything talent management. And so that's the crux of my business. If you're brand new to me, this scope and everything. So, but pay attention next month because there's going to be a whole lot of other things going on. And I'm excited to share it with you guys because it's really great and it really speaks to what I have been doing and what I've wanted to do. And I just can't wait to share it with the world. Thank you for joining Daily Transform. So tonight literally is not about anything too serious. It's the holiday edition. It's actually the last uh, Ask Arena of the year. And so I just kind of wanted to kick back. I have a glass of wine, which is something I never do on these scopes. Like I never drink because I always want to be like focused, but tonight, I'm going to have a sip. I just am. Like, I'm going to take a sip now. Um, just because I feel like, you know what? There's a lot to celebrate. And there's a lot to reflect on. And so I wanted to kind of discuss 2015 and kind of discuss, like, 2016. Like, what I see happening in the holidays and all of that. So, like, let's get into it. So, behind me here... You guys are actually getting a glimpse of something that I have no intentions of sharing with anybody else. So one of the things of 2015, and actually this was a project that I had from like two years ago. There's this whole fad about like vision boarding and visualizing like your success and the things that you want for yourself. And so this is the honest truth. Literally, I've been to the dollar store like maybe about eight months ago. And I bought the board and I bought the construction paper and I'm like, I'm going to create a vision board. I want to see if this stuff works. And so like this is a case study because I'm actually going to tell you if any of this stuff comes to fruition. But in any event, it took me eight months to complete this vision board. It was literally just sitting in my office collecting dust. And one day it just kind of clicked for me. I just cleared everything from my schedule. And if you follow me on other platforms on social media you will know like some weekend not too long ago I kind of posted like glimpses of my vision board day like I lit candles and I had music playing and I just kind of locked myself in my office 
with a bunch of magazines and just zoned out. And to be quite frank, I thought it was like nonsense. Um, but it actually was like amazingly cathartic to just kind of sit there and read through the articles and kind of pick words and phrases and things that I felt embodied the life and the business that I want for myself. And so I don't yet have any feedback for you in terms to tell you like everything has come to fruition. This is for 2016, but that's my board. Um, and there's like, just like things like, you know, thinking beyond the possible. And um, this one here says, try living for a living, you know? So everything on my board is very much about like striking this balance between having everything I want in business, but also just kind of laying back and enjoying life and smelling the roses, which is something that I haven't done previously. So that's my vision board be very, very fortunate or feel very fortunate that I'm sharing it because it's one of those things that once I created it, it felt very personal to me. And a friend of mine asked me like, do you think you'll share it with people? Because I think it'd be inspirational and I didn't much care how inspirational it would be. It's just kind of personal. I didn't really want to share it with the masses. So, but I'm giving you guys a glimpse just cause I'm kind of proud of it. And I do want to be able to share in 2016 whether or not any of this comes to fruition or if it helped me in any regard in case that you're thinking about um, doing vision boarding yourself. So there's a little about that. So 2015, like let's chat about that. So today what I did, because I wanted to be able to like speak about 2015 holistically and then go into like what 2016 looks like. Hey, Lataria. Um, so I went to see and I kind of just like punched into Google 2015 year in review. Didn't know what I was going to get, but I was like, let me just punch it in. And so I punched in 2015 year in review. Hey, girl. And I get like a list, chronological list of like everything that happened in 2015, like from a current events perspective. And honestly, like I was in a good mood <laughs> before reading this list. And I have to tell you, I don't think I was in a very good mood after reading the list. And here's why. If I go from like January literally to now, Every single month, there was either a riot, there was a, some kind of mass killing, or someone died. Literally. Like, I can't honestly say that I looked at this list that CNN put together, and it's chronological. It's not like it's curated where, like, they've just picked and chose, like, the certain things that they wanted to highlight. Like, these are the things that legitimately happened in 2015, and so it just went from like the riots to Bobby Christina passing, being found, you know, face down. And, and then that whole trajectory leading up to her death. And then like the killings in South Carolina. And it just was like, wow, honestly, and this is my opinion, and I am an optimist. I'll give you, I'll tell you that right up front, but this was a terrible year for humanity. I'm sorry. It was a terrible, terrible year for humanity. And, you know, I'm pretty sure if we go back retrospectively, like in history, there were many more years that were like atrocious in, by comparison to this year. But like, let's just talk modern day terms. Thank you, Lataria. Um, modern day, this year was terrible. It was terrible. It really was. There was just way too much death. And after reading it, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I wanted to cry. I did. I wanted to cry because I was just like, what ha Right. Like, what happened? Like, what's wrong with us? Like, honestly, if there are aliens or, like, you know, some kind of intelligent life living out there in the universe... It's like one of those memes that they share on Instagram. They've got to be saying, and excuse my French, what the fuck? Like, sorry. They've got to just be saying, like, 
do we even want to go to this place? Do like, do we want to inquire these humans? Like, who are these beings? Like, they are horrible because it just there's just nothing but death and killings and so forth. I mean, maybe the bright spots of the year was probably like the same sex marriage, you know, ruling, which meant, you know, a lot to a lot of people. And that was huge. But like outside of that, I was hard pressed to find something to share with you that was like great other than my own stuff. So like, you know, even for me on a personal level, like this year, it rocked in a lot of regards, but like in other regards, it just, you know, it kind of sucked because it was like, there was just all of these things that kept going on and like, don't get me started on the racial crap. Like, don't even get me started on that. Like the racial rhetoric this year, it it's like every day, it's like every day. And so, you know, if you don't follow me or you're not familiar with my work, like one of the things I spent a lot of time doing from a content perspective this year was really to just be very honest and real about the state of race relations in this country. And I don't think I'm going to stop that in 2016 because I've been at it with colleagues of mine since last November, and it seems like it just continues and I'm very passionate about it I'm not happy with what I'm seeing I don't feel like a happy go lucky citizen of the US it's absolutely important um, and I think that the sooner that we all come to the realization that there is a very very serious issue in this country with regard to race um, we're going to be at this for many more years to come. And the 2016 coming to with the presidential election, forget it. It's going to reach a fever pitch, literally, if we don't get a handle on it. And I pay attention to global as well. And I just think we look so, so, so asinine and so silly on the world stage right now with the stuff that's going on here. So, you know, I apologize if... This is not something that you like to talk about, but I'm throwing it out there because it needs to be discussed. And I think if we all are honest with ourselves and we look back at 2015, you cannot honestly look at the chronologic order of things and say, you know what, this is a year I'm proud of. We cannot as a country, as citizens, look back at what's happened in this country retrospectively and feel good about it we just can't i can't so get real about it so you know i don't want to spend a ton a ton of time bringing the show down it's the holidays and it's a time of year that i love but i felt like i would be remiss not to share the fact that in 2016 if there's anything that we can do to be better We've got to be tons better. I mean, tons, tons better than what we were this year. Like, we talk every year about being a better you. No, no, no. Like, we need to be on our knees praying, asking for forgiveness. How ter That's just how terrible we were this year. Um, and so take from it what you will. <laughs> but just know that from where I sit, I take everything I'm seeing very seriously and you can expect to see more from me in 2016 in the realm of race relations, diversity, um, and just trying to level the playing field. Like just me trying through my business to do things that contribute to the greater good. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> um, that's my goal. You know, and that's why I shared in the beginning the rebranding piece, not, you know, because you are here. <laughs> um, I shared the rebranding piece not to just throw it out there flippantly to you because I expect you to care so much about my business. But I throw it out there because if you are a business owner or even if you're a professional, I think we all have a duty to put something good out in the world. And so I've kind of decided that 
my business does that and has done that, but I need to do that even more because it's so needed because right now humanity sucks. Big fat sucks, thumbs down. And, um, and so I don't claim to be able to have all the answers and I don't um, claim to you know, be able to fix it all. I'm one person, right? So I can't fix it all, but I feel like through my business and through my work, I can try to put things on the right trajectory. I feel like I have a responsibility to do that as a human, um, as a business owner, as somebody who's been blessed in many different ways. I just feel like that's my job. And so I implore you to do the same. I just do. Whatever you may believe in, that's fine. I think it all comes down to absolutely. We're all responsible. And you can't complain if you're not wanting to do anything about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, you know, for me, I, I'm, I'm a mom. I'm a mom, and so, you know, you'll hear me talking a lot about that. I'm a woman. There's been a lot of talk this year about pay equity issues and women not getting their due in the workplace. That's going to continue, and I'm, like, almost bursting because I, like, want to tell you guys something, but I'm not going to tell you because it's not... I got to formulate it, but, like, there's going to be a lot more coming from me in ways that I'm going to try to be helping women realize what their potential is and having more of a voice in the workplace and like that's something I'm working on so you know just do your part like try as best as you can to be a good human um and whatever little piece of the puzzle you can add to like add that like just add that it doesn't have to be huge you can be affecting like one life two lives no problem that's your contribution, right? And so like that's kind of the message that I wanted to share um, tonight because again, looking back at what has happened this year and even if I go back to 2014, looking at 2014, we suck, it's bad, it's really, really bad and no one should just be happy about that. This should really be a time for family and a time for reflection. Like, I can't wait to just kind of like chill out and just kind of enjoy the holidays and really reflect and think about like what my next move is and, and count my blessings. Like, that's really what it's about. The holidays for me is just a really, really important time. It's huge in my family. Huge. It's huge in a lot of families, but it's just a big thing for us. It's like the one time a year we all get together. There's a lot of little traditions. I'm West Indian. So my mom is from Guyana and my dad's from Trinidad and Tobago. And so, you know, there's just, this is a time that, you know, there's a lot of cooking and a lot of preparation. And, you know, we have our little traditions. We go to our little bakery in Brooklyn and pick up all our nice little West Indian goods and things like that. And so, you know, when it comes to this time of year, that's what I'm looking forward to. Like, I just need some levity, even more so this year. Like, I feel like I need a lot more levity um, at this time. And so, like, those are the things that I'm looking forward to in the midst of, you know, planning, like, what's next and what happens in 2016. Um, but even that... Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, literally after tonight's scope, I'm like done. Like as of Monday, I've already put on my outer office. Um, I'm just kind of tuning out from things little by little. But like, you know, when you're a business owner and you work for yourself and there's nobody else, who's going to do stuff? And I have an issue. So like this is one of the things that I'm working on for 2016. Like I have to learn, literally learn to take it down a notch and just be, just be and not worry about what's next. Like I'm always kind of wired like what's next? What do I have to do? You know, um, what needs to be taken care of? It's 
kind of like crazy. And so, you know, going back to 2016, one of the things that I am trying to do is to really make my work week work for me and really trying to fashion my business after what I wanted it to be when I got into it. So when I worked in corporate America, I worked all the time, like all the time. Like I worked when I was at work, I worked when I was at home, it was just never ending. And so in 2016, I'm like, you know what? Let me look at the days when I'm most productive and let me just work on those days. And so I'm going to try the four day work week, you know, that four day work week that nobody in corporate America can quite try to get their minds around for their workforce that everybody's all talking about like it's a foreign thing that so i'm going to attempt to be working like sunday through thursday and then just give me myself a day off yes girl has to happen i have been in business for a few years now and i feel like i have earned the right to finally start to sit down and say okay Janine, what should this look like what do you want this to look like and um, I think it's time. I think it's time I could just say this is what it's going to be. And I think it's going to be fine. And it'll also put me to the test to let me let my hair down. And and uh, yeah, I, you know, like I'm kind of the person I'm like you, Lataria, like I'm let me get stuff done. Like I'm people send me emails. I want to be responsive. You know, it's all these like things that ruminate in your head. The truth of the matter is, is it's really all in your head because I've put my outer office on since Monday and truthfully, not too many people have contacted me at all to try to like lure me from my vacation. So it goes to show you that a lot of times it's up here and it doesn't really exist in reality that like you can't do these things. You can absolutely do that. It's just you have to train people to understand that that's how you're running your business. So, you know, I've been just kind of answering emergent things. I get the side eye by the floor. Well, yeah. You know why you're getting the side eye, Lataria? Because every, a lot of people, I shouldn't say everybody. A lot of people are still of an average mindset in the sense that they still buy into this whole idea that you have to go to a brick and mortar building every day, that you have to work nine to five every day, that you have to, yeah, it can be done. It, it can be done. And I am, I'm dedicated. <laughs> I'm dedicating to trying to do better. But to your point, Lataria, people are, I'm going to have to get his book. Um, Tim Ferriss. I think he's the one that wrote the four the four day work week. No, is that the same guy? Okay, yeah, I've not read it, but there's a lot of buzz about it. But you know, to your point, four hour. Okay, so yeah, to your point, Lataria. There's a lot of people that are just kind of like you know, bought into this whole old school mentality of I have to report to a place every day to be seen as successful, you know, or to be seen as productive. And I've got to do the rat race of nine to five and I've got to work 80 hours a week because that's what everybody else does. And look, if that's your life, Please don't take me wrong. Don't take me wrong. If that's what you feel like life is about and that's what you have subscribed to, by all means. But just know from my perspective that there is another life out there. There is life beyond, you know, the ivory doors or the mahogany doors of corporate America. I'm hungry for work after three days. Right. Yeah. No. Definitely, definitely. Like I kind of check out after Thursday. After Thursday, not much more you can get out of me. That's, you know, substantial. I push myself on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's just a whole nother reality out there. And I am very dedicated to seeing that I live my life to the fullest. Like when I'm on my rocking chair, you know, whatever 70 years from now or whatever not even 70 what am I saying I'm 60 50 years from now I want to be able to say you know what 
at the end of the day, I did it for me. I did it for me. I did it for my family. I lived my life. I traveled. I ate well. I drank well. I drank well. And, um, you know, and I built a business that I can be proud of, that I can pass down. I created something. I put something out there in the world. <laughs> So, you know, that's what I want to be able to say. I'm not, I have done the nine to five. I have done the overachieving employee, you know, working 80 hours a week and getting butt kiss. I've done it all. And for me, again, if this is what you must do, I get it. I get it. But for me, it just, it didn't work. And so I'm really just trying to do more for myself, do it in the way that I wanted to do it. And hopefully in the interim, I set some kind of example for others to follow. I hope that that's my hope. So yeah, that's pretty much what the deal is. Um, let's talk holidays. I've done no shopping. I've got three gifts. So guess who's gonna be in the stores Oh, thank you, Lauren. Love you. Thank you. Um, oh, Lataria, girl, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm glad I met you, Lataria. This is awesome. Um, so, yeah, I've got no shopping done. <laughs> so, like, tomorrow I get to be out with all the crazies shopping and doing all of that jazz and um other than that i'm like getting ready for christmas i'm excited i have a lot to be thankful for this year it was a great year it was a hard year it was a hard year and um i'm looking forward to just sitting back and like reflecting and drinking and eating and oh and i get to see lauren my cousin family yeah um, which is pretty cool. And uh, just getting ready for a better year. Like I, I'm going into 2016 saying like everything's going to be great and God's going to provide and, you know, blessings are coming my way. I feel it. And, uh, and I hope the same for you all. Like I hope you generally just take this time to think about what went well this year, what didn't, what you want for 2016, and, you know, relish in your accomplishments and plan for 2016, and let's see where it takes us. I think it's going to be good. I have no way of knowing otherwise. I have to believe it's going to be good, right? That's the best that we can do. And, you know, one of my pride and joys aside from everything else i know it's crazy 14 more days it's nuts um one of my pride and joys is just the fact that i launched this i can't even begin to tell you how nervous i was about doing something like this i had this like whole idea everybody's like periscope 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 you gotta be streaming and i tried the everyday thing i couldn't quite get into it and then I said to myself, okay, what can you do? So I said, all right, let me create a weekly show where I hop on and I talk about all these range of topics and see who shows up. And my God, every week it's like more and more and more and more people. And I am honestly so flattered. I'm so flattered. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. I'm so flattered. Honestly, I am because... You could be watching How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> you could be watching the replay of Scandal. You could be doing a lot of things, but you're here listening to me. And I appreciate it. I really do. Um, this is like, I think, what, the seventh week? Seventh or eighth week? Absolutely. It's all about quality over quantity. Um, you know, there are many other personalities on Periscope, some of which I watch, some I don't. And uh, right, <laughs> it could be sleeping, girl. You missing that 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 REM sleep for me? I certainly love you. Um, but you know, and and many of them have a lot of followers, and that's fine. 
<laughs> damn it girl we gonna we gonna liberate you from those ivory doors <laughs> but you guys are here and so i wanted to end just in saying thank you thank you so much thank you for being here thank you for listening thank you for engaging thank you for the hearts um you know thank you for the feedback that you give me offline about how i'm doing week to week that means the world to me i appreciate it and so I will be back on January 14th. I am taking, yes, girls, my vision board. Yup, 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 yup. I actually talked about it in the beginning. Um, now, of course, it's like falling. I can't. But anyway, thanks. I w actually, I'm gonna, um, crap. It's all like falling now. But anyway, here's a better look at it. So that's my vision board. I haven't shown anybody else this, guys. Like, nobody else. This is my vision board for 2016. Yes. Yes. So actually, I'm going to take it to Michael's um, and let them... Thanks, Lauren. And I'm going to have them frame it. And I'm just going to put it up in my office. Because, like, when I tell you, like, I had, like, my hairs were standing up on my arms as I was creating this board, they were standing up on my arm. Like, the words on my board, they're, like, extremely powerful. Like, extremely. And so, I'm like, all right, let's just make this happen. And it's just inspiring. Every time I look at it, I'm like, okay, I know what I have to do. So, maybe in January, we're going to talk more about vision boarding. I think maybe we should. Definitely. Definitely. We should talk about that. Yes, we going to talk about it, girl. We're going to rock it together. Yes, we will. We're going to rock it together. So, again, let me end with letting you know where you can find me. Talent Think Innovations. I am at talentthinkinnovations.com. My blog, The Aristocracy of HR. You can find me there at thearistocracyofhr.com. And please, 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 I'm going to have great content. I'm trying to come with trainings and free resources in the new year. So please go to the aristocracyofhr.com and subscribe so that you can keep up with everything that I'm going to be churning out in the new year. I promise you it's going to be worth it. Like, I promise you it's going to be worth it. Um, you can find the replays if you haven't seen all the episodes at catch.me forward slash Zarina of HR. You can also find the replays at www.youtube.com forward slash the aristocracy of HR. I always post the replays there as well as all my other videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much again. I wish you a merry, merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, because I will not see you back here until January 14th. I'm taking a break like a sister's tired. <laughs> So I'm wishing you the best from my family to yours. I hope you have a great holiday. Happy New Year. And then we'll be back here on January 14th to rock the new year together. All right. See ya. Thanks so much. Thank you, Lataria. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate you all. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye. Me too, girl. <laughs>